Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a collective kind of-ish haul from Sephora and Ulta I, from the past couple of weeks. So I have been shopping, makeup shopping, skincare shopping, just everything in general. Um, this These past couple of weeks and also the Sephora VIB sale just happened so I also picked up stuff from there I feel like this time of year like April ish May is when um like every single store is like doing their sales and there's sales going on so I love to you know stock up on everything and I picked up quite a few items and I've gathered a ton and I decided why not from the haul and a lot of these things are also things that I've seen like on TikTok, on Instagram that have gone viral and I've wanted to try them out. So that is what I'm going to be doing in today's video. If you guys are new here, hello, welcome. My name is Jazad. I'd love for you to join my YouTube family. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start off with makeup. I'm going to do kind of like sections and um, I'll put timestamps down below for you guys. So I'm going to start off with makeup skin, hair, and so on and so forth. So the first thing I picked up is the Dior Forever Skin Glow Foundation. I got this in the shade 3W Warm Glow. I had actually tried this out a couple of months ago, but it wasn't in my shade, so I returned it. And then I finally got it again in my right shade. I like went in store and I was just like, the, the ladies were so nice. They were like helping me and they gave me like their huge like mirror to try it out on instead of like the little ones because you can't really see the little ones and thankfully the Sephora that is near me like the um, the huge mirrors are right like by the window so like by natural daylight so it was easy to really see my shade this time so this is the first thing that I got and I do have a drier skin so I did get the glow one I know they do have like a matte one or like a satin finish but the glow one is perfect and I have used this a few times already so I do love this foundation so number two is going to be the Huda Beauty Fox Filter Luminous Matte Concealer and I also got this in Coconut Flakes 2.7N this shade is a little bit lighter as you guys can see but I also got this in a lighter shade because I use this more like for brightening so it's not like my I guess you would say like everyday concealer it's more for like brightening so it's like I apply my regular concealer and then on top like in certain areas just for an extra brightening effect I like to use this concealer so far so good it's a very creamy consistency it reminds me a little bit of the NARS um, radiant creamy concealer so if you guys like that one I feel like you would like this one it is liquid and it's like kind of, of a thick consistency but I really do like it and I'm only using a tiny bit anyway so it's perfect for that so that's the next item that I got I picked up a few Makeup by Mario items because I actually have never tried Makeup by Mario until a couple of weeks ago and I've been seeing you know everyone posting Makeup by Mario and raving about his makeup products so I decided I wanted to give it a try as well so the first thing that I got is the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Shaping Stick and I got this in medium. I was in between medium or I think the next one was dark medium, I'm not really sure but this is a perfect contour um, shade for me. It's like the stick and it comes with a brush on one of the ends so I really really like it. I'm not wearing it right now but I really do like this. It's like a creamy contour stick and um, I actually was, am just now also getting into like more creamy kind of products for, you know, my base. I used to never do that. I would only use powder, but it's become like this trend like on social media to use creamy um, makeup products. So I'm excited that I got this and I really do like it as well. And then the next makeup by Mario item that I got is his Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serum. And I got this in bronze glow it's just this beautiful like sheen kind of color it's nice it's moisturizing it's plumping like sometimes i like to use it more on like kind of no no not no makeup makeup days but like when i'm wearing very minimal makeup or even no makeup if i'm just doing like some eyebrow 
product and like eyelashes and then I'll use like a lip liner and then I'll use this on top and I really like how it looks as well. Third makeup my Mario product that I got is actually one of his makeup brushes. So this is the F2 makeup brush. I'm going to try this brush out. It is dual ended and I usually don't buy dual ended brushes but now my brushes I have them laying down instead of like up in a container and um, I feel like I wanted to get this brush for cream products and I like that I did. It's two sides and dual ended obviously and so one of the sides is for like blush products and then the other is for contour bronzer products and I believe you can use powder and cream but I wanted to try it out for cream. I really did like using the blush side for cream um, blush products for example the Rare Beauty blush or any other blushes that I'm about to show you guys like for example from Merit anything that's creamy it's really good it's like a really good kind of like a stippling brush and like the ends are perfect for it and then the other side I actually have been using it more for powder I was using cream on it but I feel like I also love how it looks on powder just because the shape of the brush is perfect for it and I've also been loving that as well. So if you guys are in the market for a new good brush, um, try this one out. I've got two in one. Okay, moving on to some more bronzer products. So bronzer and contour are actually my favorite part of my whole makeup routine. Ever since I started wearing makeup, it's actually what I love to use the most. I feel like once I apply bronzer specifically, I feel like it just adds a lot to my face like it does a lot and um I don't know like I just love adding back that color after like foundation which is just like a very clean base and then concealer obviously is brightening and then I go in with um bronzer and I feel like it just adds life back to my face and I, like I just love it so much so I got a few more products that I stocked up on so the first one is going to be the Tarte Hotel Hyris uh, waterproof bronzer this bronzer is my absolute favorite bronzer of all time i've tried like almost every single bronzer like even like the og kind of makeup days like the anything that was that is at the drugstore i've like tried everything and i really love this bronzer it just works really nicely it leaves a very nice like finish and it's just perfect and beautiful it's like the perfect shade too it's not too orange or too brown it's like the perfect shade and on my last one that i bought a few years ago it lasted pretty long despite using it a lot and i restocked on it this time as well I'm going pretty fast because there's a lot of products to show but i feel like i'm doing a pretty good job at summarizing each one and the benefits and what i've liked about each product so the next cream contour product is the new milk makeup contour sticks and this is in simmer it is a little bit darker but i do love it because i feel like it just adds more of like a sun-kissed glow on the skin and it glides beautifully and it's it's just so nice it looks like you've been outside in the sun all day it looks very 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 natural and i really love it. it blends like a dream i've never seen any product blend so well um it makes me just extra excited the, the fact that i am trying more um cream products from huda beauty i picked up the huda beauty Longwear eye pencil and this is a creamy cold crayon liner for your waterline. got this in very black, pretty much very Vanta, that's what it's called, very Vanta, Vanta, and it's really great, it glides on like butter, this is also one of their newer releases, I believe, and it's great, I've been needing a new um, pencil for my waterline, and this is just perfect for that, so if you guys are in the market, definitely recommend Huda Beauty, all of her products are just amazing. I love them. I love Huda Beauty and I just love it. Next up is just an eyebrow pencil. This is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is an oldie but a goodie. And this is their Brow Wiz. I got this in medium brown. I used to get the darker colors. I'm wearing this today, but um I feel like lately I just love a more natural kind of brow look, not like super like jet black dark, like the dip brow pomade era. And this is a really good pencil for that. You guys, if you guys have been into beauty for a really long time then you know this product already by now um picked up another one of these continuing on with the eyebrow products i also got this kit this is the great brow basics the brow filling defining and volumizing kit from benefit cosmetics and i got this in shade number four again for a more natural kind of brow look i love their packaging it's super freaking cute 
and yeah I just I love their brow products they are so good along with Anastasia they they blend like a dream they're amazing um, the shade range is so good like I remember a few years back I think it was just like just full numbers like three four five and I'm four and now it's like they have like 3.25 3.5 3.75 so it's like you really can find your shade so if you guys are in the market for a new brow pencil like go to Ulta they have a whole benefit section and literally test them all out get someone to help you and yeah benefit is amazing next up i've never tried anything from one size beauty which is i believe patrick ta's beauty line and this is the new ultimate setting powder and i get this i did get this in 01 translucent use this with like a little powder puff that i order on amazon for like a pack it's super inexpensive and i put it on and i just kind of pat the product i don't I don't bake with it um i just kind of pat it on and my other like holy grail powder is the huda beauty powder and i just really love this product i feel like it sits really nicely on the skin it does not crease on me it just does a good job and it does what i want a powder to do so if you guys are in the market as well for a new powder definitely try this out it's very 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 similar to the huda beauty one um yeah i was gonna say dupe but it's definitely not a dupe because each one is like their own individual brand because i feel like dupe would be like a drugstore one uh but yeah try it out you guys you will love it next up i have two products from mary beauty so this is gonna be their the minimalist perfecting complexion stick and i got this in khaki it's just the perfect shade for me i also love their like minimal packaging it's super pretty and it just does what it needs to do. It covers everything. It's very, very creamy, very easy to blend out. Literally, probably the easiest thing I can blend out, despite it being a stick. Like, you would think it wouldn't be easy, but it's very easy. I feel like Merit is one of those brands that is perfect for a beginner makeup. Um, like, anyone getting into makeup that is super like, beginner friendly because their, pro their products just blend out so nicely and I definitely recommend it to anyone. Another product from Mary is their Flush Balm. This is in the shade Persimmon and it's such a beautiful like kind of deep coral shade. It's so nice. I love this product and again blends out so nicely. Mary blushes are some of the best blushes out there. Their packaging is so cute. They upgraded it. It has like it's like this gold kind of packaging. Mary is one of my favorite beauty brands as well. Try them out. Next up is just the makeup. Um, I was going to say makeup by Mary. The MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus Spray. This is really good. Again, I have like drier skin. So when I'm done with my makeup, I like misting either this or the ABH spray. Like the dewy one. I forget the exact name of it. But this is really, really good. This is also, if you've like been into beauty for a really long time, this is such a good product. It's just been around forever, and I feel like a lot of people like this product because it just does a good job at really blending everything together. Like, I feel like sometimes, I don't know if this happens to you guys, but sometimes like once I've used like everything on my face already and like I've blended cream products, powder products, um, it, I feel like sometimes my skin just kind of feels very matte. So I like to go in with like a nice spray and really revamp everything and make my face dewy again and I feel like it just does a good job at mixing everything together and making it look really really nicely. So this is a good product if you are in need of a setting spray. I have some lip products and I'm going to go through these um, pretty fast because I don't want to take too long. So first off, this is a restock product that I got during the Sephora sale. This is the Charlotte Tilbury hyaluronic um color balm and this is in pillow talk so basically i love their pillow talk lip liner and lipstick so i wanted to get something for like when i'm not wearing makeup and like i'm out and about but i still want to have like a tint or like a color to my lips so this is a product that i picked up for that and it does such a good job it's super pigmented which is exactly what i wanted i love this product you guys need to try it out that's just her. Next up is a Charlotte Tilbury, the Super Nudes Luminous Modern Matte Long Lasting Lipstick. It's what I'm wearing right now. Personally, for me, for lipsticks, I really love kind of like pink, like darker pink shades or like, I guess you could say like mauve shades. I feel like they just look really good with 
my skin complexion and my hair color. I feel like it just ties it all in and this color is really nice. This is in the color Supermodel. It's so nice. And I love pairing this with like a lip liner and then just going in with this and like a gloss sometimes and I feel like it looks really really good. So if you are in the market for lipsticks, I definitely recommend them. Um, I actually, this is actually my first ever lipstick from them. I've definitely tried their lip liner, but lipstick, this is the first one that I've tried from them. During the Sephora sale, one, one of the times I was in the store, I was doing so many, like, pickup orders. I would go in store, shop around, and then pick up stuff. Um, this is another brand that is kind of newer. They haven't been around for that long. I've worked with them in the past. It's K Skin, but I saw, I was like looking in the Summer Fridays area, like their lip balms, and then I noticed their kind of like stand, <laughs> their section, and I noticed that they had a few lip products with SPF, so that's what really drew me to these. So these are both IO Lip Balm SPS. I tried them out in store, like on my hand, and they both had a tint to them. They have th they have three different ones as of right now. Maybe they'll release more. They have like a clear one, and then I got both of the colors. So these are in Bad Gal Berry and Eerie Rose, and they have sunscreen on them. They're water resistant. I'm wearing them like out and about, like outside. Also, when I'm not wearing much makeup, or even like with a lip liner and with this over top I feel like it just looks really really nicely and I picked them up and I love them so far. Before we get into skincare the other product that I got is a Sephora collection brush and this is the blush brush in the number 96. I love the end of this it's so nice and it's perfect for powder blush which is what I got it for it blends so nicely and um yeah I wanted to try out Sephora collection brushes I know everyone talks good things about them. I'll definitely try out more in the future, but I actually just bought um, recently more brushes, which I'm about to show you guys right now. Makeup by Ariel Morphe Brush Collab. First of all, the aesthetic of this, of the brushes are so beautiful. They're like this right here, and um, they're so nice. It comes with like every single like um, base product you would possibly need so with like a contour a foundation brush I love the foundation brush it's all I've been using ever since I bought this about like a month and a half ago it's so nice guys seriously try this out it blends so nicely and it's so easy to use they're very light I feel like some brushes that I've used in the past I have to like be be like almost rough with the brush in order for it to really like you know blend your makeup but these like you can use such a light hand with them which is what I really really like about them so yeah makeup by Ariel did their thing next up I'm gonna jump into skincare so this is a baby skincare product I wanted to try before I committed to like the big product big like full-size product so this is from Charlotte Tilbury this is their glow toner with an niacinamide pore type peptide exfoli exfolact <laughs> I can't read exfolactive daily radiant glow oh my god it's such a mouthful daily radiant glow solution I got the mini of this and it's just a toner and yeah I love the ingredients in them I've used it like twice so far so I can't really say how I fully feel about it um and sometimes I feel like certain toners work best with using just your hands and some work better using like a cotton round. It's one of the first things I've ever tried from Charlotte Tilbury apart from their um, moisturizer which is super popular which everyone loves. Continuing on with skincare, I have a few Drunk Elephant products. This is the Drunk Elephant Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil. This is so good. I tried this a couple of years ago and then I've just tried every single other product on the market but... This is their oil rich in omega 6 and 9. It's so good at night because I just love a good oil at night. I feel like I made this video where, um, on TikTok where it was like if you don't look like a glazed donut at night like after your skincare routine then like you're doing it wrong. I just love being super moisturized when I'm about to go to sleep. Um, I feel like it just does something. Sometimes I'm like, is is this real or is it like the placebo effect? But no, it's definitely real because my skin is just so plump when I wake up and I love it. It looks like I like 
got filler literally next up is the drunk elephant c pharma fresh day serum with 15 percent l ascorbic acid and ferulic acid has a ph of 2.5 ph is one of those ingredients in skincare which i have been paying i have been paying attention to lately i didn't pay attention to it before but now i am and i actually have yet to use this this is brand new but I've heard so many good products of this and I've only tried a few vitamin C serums in my life so far. So excited to use this as well. Next up is the Drunk Elephant Proteiny Polypeptide Cream with a pH of 4.0. This product has 9 signal peptides so far. I've only used it twice. So good, so moisturizing, so plumping. It's very similar to the Peter Thomas Roth. Um, I believe it's called the Hyaluronic Acid Moisturizer. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I've tried that. I've emptied it out. I'm done using it because I, you know, use the whole thing. But this is so good, you guys. Seriously, try it out. You will not regret it. So next up is actually not makeup, not skincare, not hair care. This is the Nest from New York brand. Their Wellness Driftwood and Chamomile Wall Diffuser. This is just the refills. I tried out their diffuser along with a little, like, um, like little tiny container. I'll insert a picture. Um, back a few months ago, and it was like the holiday collection. It smelled so good, and I wanted to try this one out as well. It smells so nice. I use this in my bathroom, and yeah, Nest fragrances are just really nice the last item that i'm going to show is actually hair care and it is a new dry bar dual plate reserve styling iron i'm actually going to make a whole separate video which i'm going to upload after or either before this one if i upload it before it's going to be linked but if it's after um subscribe and check that video out when it comes out very very soon but yeah i already filmed the video i love it it's so nice i've never seen a flat iron that has a dual plates that you can control each side. Super cool. If you guys want to see that, definitely subscribe. And yeah, that completes this huge collective beauty haul. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I am so thirsty from talking so much. <laughs> but yeah, again, if you guys are new here, hello, welcome. My name is Giselle Perez, and I would love for you to join my little YouTube family. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone.